Hello guys, today I'm going to teach you how to do a color correction or HDR PQ to SDR or Rec 709 or standard look. Let's check it out. We will show you in DaVinci Resolve and Premiere Pro. Uh, by the way, the camera I shoot with this video is Canon R50. We have to convert this uh, video H265 to DNR HQ X for the free version of DaVinci Resolve so they can support it. For the Premiere Pro, you don't need to do it. You just have to drag and drop because Premiere Pro they support it codec. So first thing first in DaVinci Resolve. Okay, I already opened it. You have to go to the color tab and go to your notes and select this uh, color space transform. After you done it, go to the setting and this is my setting. So for the input color space, you have to put rec 2100 known as a HDR. For the input gamma, put this ST2084. For the output color space, we want it as a standard look, as a rec 709. For the output gamma, you, we, you use timeline. And for the tone mapping, don't forget, we have to enable this tone mapping to make it look a standard look or natural look if you don't want it it's okay it's more to preference but i like it if you look at the the image it's the, the white cloud not really blown out if we put this max input to 100 it will be blown out yeah you can see this overexposed so we have to put this as 200 this value yeah that's more better if you don't want this tone mapping method it's okay but it's a little bit uh, washed out if you like this style it's okay according to the preference but i like this uh, custom tone mapping method use custom max inputs it's much more natural look and contrasty look okay that's it for the mini series so for premiere pro I will teach you how to do two ways for the conversion. First thing first, we have to new sequence clip, and then we have to go for sequence settings. For the sequence setting here, you can find it the working color space. For the working color space, we already know the HDR working color space is Rec 2100. So we have to convert it to the standard look Rec 709. Auto turn map media if you want. It's something like uh, use some artificial intelligence to compensating the exposure of the scene. This is the look, much more natural. If you don't want that uh, to turn map media, you disable it. It much more brightness, much more better and better exposure. Yeah. So for me, I really like the disable one auto tone map media is not really good because it is automation we have to, to do manually lah. it's a few more natural second method is use some nullimetry color i found a, a lot conversion free from online you can get it for free you can download it i will put in the link below so yeah we have to browse this three according to this lots they have three version version one is conservative level version two is liberal level which are suitable for outdoor and lighting and version three is uh, very conservative not really good for outdoor scene so we shoot in outdoor settings so we have to select the version two so open it that's it okay guys that's it conversion from hdr pq to rec 709s Thank you for watching guys. I hope this video will help you guys out there. Thank you and see ya.